I was half asleep. I looked at the clock a little before two. I thought about calling you, Frank, but well, who takes a phone call seriously at that hour? And now this horrible murder. Phone call in the middle of the night doesn't prove murder, Miss Lyons. Well, it's just too much of a coincidence. The Lieutenant, you don't seem to be very anxious to dig into this. What else could it be but a murder? Mr. Marlowe was your friend. He was backing you. Of course, you're going to jump to conclusions. Me? I take it a little easier. I don't mess around with politics or politicians. And that's how I've lasted 22 years in the department. Thanks, Miss Lyons. I know how to reach you. Are you sure you didn't recognize the voice? Could it have been someone from the office? Maybe if I heard it again, I'd recognize it. I'm sorry, Frank, but it all seems so fantastic. Don't blame yourself, June. You probably couldn't have done anything about it anyway. Thanks. I've got to get downtown. I'm glad you were here with me anyhow. See you this afternoon. Bye. Bye-bye. Lieutenant! You know, I don't think that policeman believed a word I said. They never believe anybody. Come on, let's get some sun. Yes? Good morning, Miss Lyons. Remember me? No, can't say that I do. The name is Ben Grace. Uh, what do you want? I want Frank Jensen for mayor. Oh, come in. Mmm, nice looking place you have here. Thank you. Nice looking girl. Supposing you tell me why you're here. All right, Miss Lyons, I'll get to the point. Last night, I telephoned you about Marlowe. You. I wouldn't bother. I waited till they drove away. How did you know he... I knew. That's enough. But... Mr. Jansen is a nice man. But he doesn't know how to win elections. I'm not a very nice man. I know how. Takes a little dirt. And you have dirt to sell? I have dirt to sell. What do you want for it? Money? Not a penny. What then? Oh, decency. Clean government. Frank Jensen for mayor. Jensen's an idealist. You're a practical girl. He needs you, and you've made him pay for it. Oh, that's all right. I don't trust people who are not a little greedy. What do you want to tell me? Did you know Marlowe? Yes. Sit down. Listen. You're going to stop backing, Jensen. You're going to stop printing all that stuff about me. I'm going to print all the truth about your vicious evil. Listen to me. Get some water. Too late for water. You killed him. Where did you get this, Mr. Grace? It's not a question of where I got it. It's what you and Jensen are going to do with it. Uh-uh. I don't buy your bill of goods. Who sent you to me? Saul Casper himself? I assure you this is genuine. All I can do is give you a gun. If you haven't got guts enough to pull the trigger, I can't help it. No dirt tonight, Mr. Grace. I don't like your brand. It's too cheap. It smells like some kind of trick. You probably invented it for oh, some... Oh, there's too much to invent. For instance, uh, there's your sister out there. Her first arrest was for petty larceny. Then two years later, the rap was for shoplifting. And then... Get out of this house! Now do you believe me? I don't like blackmail. I said get out and I mean it. I'm in the book. 
His name is Ben Grace, G-R-A-C-E. I'll let Mr. Jansen decide if he needs you. But I assure you, my sister and I... Somebody talking about me? I'd much rather do the talking for myself. Goodbye, Mr. Grace. How do you do, Mr. Grace? Meet you and his little sister, Dorothy. Hello, Miss Lyons. Uh, please call me Dorothy, won't you? The frank and open door. Dorothy, Mr. Grace is very late. Uh, hey, I love that material. I love the feel of it. I'll wear it the next time I see you. Oh, you don't have to put it on just for me. Your sister's a nice girl. And she's going to stay that way. Remember, the number's expert 36567. Expert 36567. You got it. Did you invite him in? Oh, don't look around for Martha. She kept her eye on me for you, but she coughed off hours ago. All right, honey. Come on. Let's get to bed. It's late. Oh, uh, I heard the good news about the election. Oh? Congratulations. Thanks. Oh. Jansen called up. Oh, did he? Twice. Oh. I wonder what had happened to you. Very disappointed. Oh, what runs in the family? <laughs> What's that? How many people who just elected mayor call you up all hours of the night? <laughs> Big deal. Oh, it is. Especially when you're spending all hours of the night with somebody else. 